Hello, it's Tony here again with video number four for your awesome success in this week of inspiration. Today, I'm going to share with you some incredible information from an amazing author which has quite literally changed my life. Now, this author is called Thomas Troard. Thomas Troard actually was alive in the early 1900s, okay? And he wrote this most amazing set of uh, books, which were really a set of lectures called the Dory Lectures held in Edinburgh. Now, one of his students uh, that actually sat and worked with him, because Thomas Troard was the most amazing uh, creator, if you like, of the New Thought Movement, that movement where we, people truly started to access the power that they had within and link that with ancient uh, information and put those together. He was really the leader of, of that first movement. And Thomas Truard had a student called Genevieve Biran. And Genevieve Biran was so inspired by Thomas Truard's work that she followed him everywhere. She studied under Thomas Truard. And she wrote this little book called Your Invisible Power. Now, when I left full-time education and went into the unknown world of entrepreneurship, following my heart's desire, this little book I carried around everywhere I went. And you can probably see that it's been uh, heavily uh, annotated. I annotate all of my books. It's just something I do to uh, get the subconscious involved in, in that learning that I'm doing. But this little book followed me everywhere. It was such a great companion. You see, your best friend sometimes can be a book. It can be a mentor that actually exists within the text, the pages of a book. And every time I read this book over a those last, well, every time I read this book, m months and months could go by. Every time I read this book, I see something that I didn't see before. What do I mean by that? Well, same sentence, but it's not that the sentence has changed, it's just that I've changed. I've grown slightly in awareness, so that sentence suddenly has a deeper sense of meaning. And books like that are real gems. Absolutely incredible. Now, Thomas Troard has a great chapter in one of his early books one of his early lectures about the power of being yourself. You see, when you think about this seminar on the 21st of March that Mike Hendricks and I are going to be running for you, remember what we said everybody? Can you remember it? This will change your life. This seminar that will change your life, um, when we run that seminar, there'll be a lot of you maybe thinking, well, you know, when I come along, you know, they're doing this and they're doing that. Or I'm looking on the outside world for answers or watching what they're doing and trying to copy them and wondering, you know, how can I be like somebody else? Look, the most important thing to understand is the importance of being yourself. Thomas Truard wrote an amazing chapter in one of his lectures called The Importance of Being Yourself. And I like to learn and, and access the storehouse of the subconscious and, and fill that up so that I'm actually believing of the essence of these messages. I like to do that by making annotations and models rather than just reading. So this is my way of making sense of that chapter and I'm going to share with you in a, in a nutshell the essence of that chapter. Such a powerful chapter and I want you to apply these little truths to you now. See if it resonates with that intuition that's inside you. Never mind what the people are saying. How does this resonate with you because it's so powerful? So where do we start? Number one. So many people are trying to be somebody else or somewhere else or get one better than somebody else. But really, that just involves strain and struggle. Strain and struggle. Doesn't feel right, does it? That's the first point. Number two. It's okay to have big ideals that grow you and that can move you towards that progress. But real progress is following an, an ideal as an image that's a stage ahead of us. There's nothing wrong in putting that image about where you want to go in your life, a stage ahead of you and following that. That's absolutely okay. That's not the same as following somebody else's goal. So what we're saying here is don't go around and copy everybody else what they're doing. You're a unique person and it's okay to have big ideas, but they're unique to you. Number three, the attainment is a matter of growth. 
So the, the attainment of that goal, that dream that you have, is actually a matter of growth. You're going to have to learn and grow and study. It must be the expansion of something already in us. See, a lot of people get that wrong. They're trying to do things that actually they don't already have innate inside them. So it must be the expansion of something that's already within us. So if you're a good artist or a good writer or a good teacher or whatever it may be, go with what you already have inside you. We are where we are, where we are, where we are. so start with where you are rather than worrying about trying to get to somewhere else. We have to think about who we are, that spiritual essence, that this is our starting point. So start from where you are, okay, and move forward. Point number four, you can only grow with what's in front of you. And then this is a steady path, so you look at what's directly in front of you, you work on that, and then the next step reveals itself. So many people are wanting to jump a hundred steps down the line to get to that goal, but you can only work with those steps that are in front of you. Where are we? Number five, relax and feel confident as though you are employing a force much greater than we can imagine. It's part of us, it's our spiritual life that underlines our later goals. So you have this spark where just relax and feel confident that you're going to move towards that goal. Number six, spirit, which, is, which we all have, is pure life, expressing itself by flowing into form. Just allow this spirit to rise to the surface. You don't need to force that. It's like the artisan well, it just comes up on its own. You don't need to go anywhere. You don't need to force anything. Just allow what you've already got within you to rise to the surface, like the artisan well. Great analogy. Number seven, force is not required. Just a recognition of it. So just a recognition of that power that you've got within you and that vision. No force is required. Do what you can today, not about, this is not about compelling things, it's not about sort of making something happen. Do what you can do today, don't worry about the next day, that will come when it comes. Number eight, just use your faculties that you have, your mental faculties, will, imagination, intuition. It's not about sitting around and doing nothing, you've got to actually do things, but do those in steady steps. Now we have all that's necessary for the unlimited development of our dream. But here's the key point. We can never anticipate just how that's gonna flourish in the end. It, could, it always does surprise you. So again, taking those steps, but you will be surprised by what you can unearth. We can't anticipate that, just be aware. And finally, I think we're on number nine, which is right at the top here, where I've got this person here full of, uh, it's got a little candle, it's that light from within. The importance of being yourself. Great quote. You are already a light. Your job is to burn brighter degree by degree. You are already a light. Your job is to burn brighter and brighter, brighter by degree from the inside out. Such a powerful, powerful chapter. I absolutely love Thomas Truard's work. And again, if you really want to access that, Genevieve Buran's Invisible Power, well, I mean, that, that she breaks down that information that's quite complex into an easy, uh, accessible bite size. So today's video is about the power of being yourself. So right now, think about the 21st of March, that day where, remember, this will change your life. Mike Hendricks and myself will be sharing more about this immense power that you've got within you so that you can go free yourself from feeling trapped, follow those dreams and aspirations to a brighter, thriving life. So I see you in the next video. You take care. This is Tony Mallet signing out.